And hello, everyone, and welcome back to Cyrus Web Presents here on Amazon Live. I'm joining you guys live on the road today from Chicago, Illinois. Thus, my different background that you guys normally see when I'm home in the office in Mississippi. But I'm so excited about today's broadcast. So we're glad that you guys have joined us here on Amazon. If it is your first time joining us here on the platform, make sure you guys do hit that follow button. You'll see it either here in this corner or down below. You also see some of the projects from our next guest. We're excited to welcome back. Omega Keys and Kathy Taylor to our broadcast today. Uh, they're able to bring us some great projects as creatives. We're going to talk to them about the year they're having. Can you believe the month of March is almost over? March is recognized as Women's History Month, Women's Empowerment Month, but also for self-care too. We're going to talk to them about, interestingly enough, how that applies for them personally, but also for the project you guys see highlighted in the carousel on Amazon, and that is Fractured. We're going to actually, if you guys are just now finding out about Fractured, I'm going to show you guys the trailer for it here. It's available to rent or buy here on Amazon. I actually bought it because I'm one of those people that like to watch things more than once to see what I may have missed the first time. I'm going to talk to the ladies not only about Fracture, but also they have some exciting projects coming up as well. I'd be remiss if I didn't mention we are simulcasting our broadcast. So welcome those joining us on Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Twitter. If you all have any questions or comments for Omega and Kathy, make sure you guys do put those in the chat. We have the chat open. But Omega, Kathy, welcome back to the broadcast. Hey. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Good to be able to see the, 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 the two of you again. You know, it's uh, it's been, I cannot believe, I got up this morning and I said, how is it almost April? You know, <laughs> that that is just yes. um, But we've all, I think, the three of us have had an amazing 2023 so far, definitely a big March. So uh, it's appropriate I'm having the two of you guys on here. Amiga, I'm going to kick things off with you. We're celebrating Women's History Month, Women's Empowerment Month, self-care. What has it been like for you to take this time to kind of congratulate yourself and what you've been able to do this year? You know, it's actually kind of crazy because today is actually um, my anniversary for when I left um, active duty for the military. Mm. and switch over so it's really big celebration for me realizing like how far i've come and taking that big leap so um i'm having a moment today because of it so yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. realizing you know how far we've come and you know the success that kathy and i have, ha have had together you know taking that leap it was mm -hmm. scary but you know we're doing it yeah such a great thing. We're going to come back to that. It's a big, big thing. Kathy, what about for yourself? Because even outside the work you do with Amiga, you've been able to build your own company with Tell All Inc. What has it been like for you to kind of pat yourself on the back this month and think about your own accomplishments? It's been amazing. Actually, today I end up writing out everything that I've done, like in film projects with Omega and others. And I was just like, wow, you know, sometimes life is moving so fast we don't even realize, you know, how much we've, you know, accomplished. So it's just been amazing just to sit back and just kind of reflect on everything this month. So it's yeah. been exciting. Love that. Well, of course, we're on here celebrating uh, the masterpiece that is fractured that I, again, I have highlighted on the Amazon side. For those who are joining us on the other platforms, we have a link that will bring you over to Amazon. So if you guys have not seen Fractured, again, I will be showing the trailer a little bit later, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Let's talk about Fractured in particular, uh, Kathy, and I'm gonna go back to Omega here. Uh, because could you have imagined when you were in it? I mean, you both are literally in it, but I mean, <laughs> in the middle of producing it, could you have imagined the attention this film would be getting? Um. It's it's that toss up of 50-50, yes, because 
Ramia writes amazing projects. So I know um, the same way when she presented it to me and I read over it and I was like, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Um, and I knew it would gain traction. So on that respect, I'm not surprised, but also while you're doing it, you know, you're nervous or we still get nervous about things that we do every time we do it. And we're worried uh, about what the response or the feedback is going to be. So it's a balancing act, you know, all the time. But, you know, I'm not surprised, though. It, it's one of those grab you and just it, it locks you in. It's one of those projects. And I told Omega today, Cyrus, that you're just part of the you part of fracture. I told him. I, told him, I said I think Cyrus is on fracture. He's part of fracture. You know what? Probably in more ways than you realize. <laughs> well, that's for another store, though. That's okay. <laughs> that's for that's for another show up guy. But I appreciate that. But sure, Omega. What about for yourself? I mean, I, I was thinking about it. I was prepping for this uh, interview with Kathy and you. That uh, and I and I do appreciate. I feel like I'm a part of of the family too. But could, did it feel did it feel like this when you were doing it, Omega? Did you feel like you were doing something that was going to be something special? Oh, absolutely. Just being on set from the very first day, it felt completely different than yeah, yeah. Um, all of our other sets that we've been on. Just just the feeling, everybody, you know, meshing together very well. Um, we switched, you know, some of the um, filming style of some of the things that we do. Normally, I start with us doing a lot of the hard stuff first, but I started us out smoothly this time. So everybody got to, you know, ease into the scenes versus, OK, I'm throwing this heavy stuff at you real right out the gate. So we had more time to ease into it. So it just like the coming together of it. And I mean. And, and people that know us, they can tell from the um, BTS photos because we have so many this time and we have so many smiling moments, so many, you know, we're celebrating a lot more in these photos versus looking stressed out in the photos <laughs> like yeah. we normally do. <laughs> but it, it's a, but I, I kind of knew because one thing going into this, when Kathy had our meetings um, prior to this, some of the things that we talk about are hitting specific elements that people want to see that we know that yeah. grab people on streamers and that make people want to talk about a film. This film has that stuff in that, that people want to talk about it. So we knew mm -hmm. that much going in that we definitely had something. We just had to execute it. And I believe we did it very well. Yeah. You did. I totally agree. You know, as an honorary member of the family, I can attest to that. It, it is it is definitely done well. And but I want to say something too. I was saying half joking with Kathy about um being a part of Fracture because I think it is a story, even though we see a very strong woman kind of up front in this mm -hmm. film and what she's dealt with, you know, us guys, you know, I think can definitely relate to a lot of the the messages of this film. I'm going to stay with you yes. here for Amiga for a second, and then I'm going to go back to Kathy because are you hearing from men about that? About th they're dealing with trauma. They're dealing with you know things. You know the stress of family and trying to be everything to everyone. Are you hearing from men about their connection to it as well? Yeah. The funny thing is, I am hearing for more men than I am from the women. That is the great <laughs> part. It's connecting I can believe that. With, um, I can believe it. With, with more men, and they're yeah. I get so many of the um the direct messages. It is crazy that the people that are watching and reaching out and speaking to me about it, it's mostly the men wanting to speak, you know, about the film and about you know just the different um things hitting with them you know they're having deep conversations about mike like you know yes. what you, you know in that in that situation finding everything out like they they really want to talk about mike and just all of the situations you know overall trying to be you know that head of the family mm -hmm. and and hold everything together and how do you deal you know with with your wife that's going through a crisis that you didn't even notice at first <laughs> right Right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that that's a big thing. Uh, we do have a comment from uh, Miguel joining us on Facebook. Miguel says, I'm definitely a fan. I love the workflow uh, as mm -hmm. well. Uh, you know, and that's the other thing. We're going to get into that. The people you've been to work with, Amigo, and we're going to come back to that. Kathy, I want to ask you, though, uh, a similar question when I was asking Omega. 
Uh, what has that been like to hear from from men, you know, as well as women yeah. about their connection to this film? And it's like Omega said, it's been amazing, but I've gotten a lot of dialogue with, you know, both of the characters, even um, the man who had to deal with Olivia on the other side, as well as Mike. I mean, usually a lot of times you see it's maybe those role of a man going out, you know, with amongst different women. But now you have this other strong, powerful woman who's doing all of these things. And you're just like, what? I can't believe she did that to him or she made him feel this way. And then she doesn't care about, I mean, these men, her brother-in-law, she just just doesn't care about anyone. So a lot of men were actually feeling sorry yeah. <laughs> for some of the other men in this film. So, and it took on, I mean, the, um, the biggest one was Mike though. A lot of people were relating to like, oh my gosh, I couldn't even imagine not knowing all of those things you know being with someone all of this time and just never had a clue and how did that get past me so it was a little disturbing they said for the <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I said I it's Omega's fault yeah. Yeah. yeah I was thinking of what Terry um Terry from Rolling Out Magazine what he said that um you know he was holding he didn't realize he was holding his breath most of the of the movie yes. because you know of, of those situations with her dealing with the men and how you know she behaved you just he just never knew what was going to happen so he was on pins and needles yeah, yeah. you know uh, I, this is totally off color probably but my my biggest problem with olivia was i, I don't like people knowing what my cash app balance is and her just going to this man's phone and just, <laughs> just cash app in the amount <laughs> That's a very, yes. you know, that's very invasive. <laughs> yeah. Like, she just wouldn't did care. <laughs> yeah. But saying. that's exactly why we did it because it was invasive. Yeah. It was her, she's her not caring, her taking control, you know, phone. Like she didn't care what he was saying. Phone, phone, yeah. phone. Yeah. <laughs> it was very you dominant. Say, guys, you can't lie because they can see what the balance is right there. <laughs> But that's again, that's for another show. That's for another yeah. <laughs> uh, Mickey, hello to you. Mickey's joining us on X. Guys, we've been getting more on X lately. The show I had earlier this week on Amazon Live, we had a good audience on X. Hello to you, Mickey. Thank you for so much for watching us uh, on X over there. And we thank all of you for tuning in. I see you guys over there on YouTube as well. If you guys are just coming in, um, you all are watching Cyrus Web Presents. I'm on location here in Chicago, Illinois, right now here for Amazon Live. But we are joined today. Uh, by Omega Keys and Kathy Taylor. Uh, Omega Keys is joining us from About Face Media. Kathy Taylor is joining us from Tell Off Inc. We're talking about their work as creatives, celebrating themselves, but also their film you guys see on the Amazon side there called Fractured. Now, if you guys are are new to us, uh, look, Maxwell says <laughs> right <laughs> all up in the cash app. I was like, huh? <laughs> as well. That's a very, even when I go to stores and like, do you want me to help you? I'm like, nope. I got it. You just tell me where the, where the QR code is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need, I don't need you. Don't need you holding my phone. But anyway, uh, if you guys are new to <laughs> to Fra to uh, Fractured, we do want to play the trailer for you guys. We have more of our conversation coming up uh, with Omega and Kathy right after this. So you guys enjoy the trailer, and we'll talk more after this. So you're just going to sit here and ignore me? Oh, so we're sharing today. That's why I pay you to be here. Do you? <laughs> Fine, I'll play along. So how did we end up here this time? Now that I have your attention, I'm your sister, your twin. It's been several weeks and you haven't heard from her? No, and she has a name. I'm Olivia. You need to set boundaries. And when she doesn't comply, there needs to be consequences. That's funny. Hey, listen, babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, you gonna be in here all day? What are you so worried about? It? Hey, by the way, the police came by here yesterday. I'm gonna get home once I got off. Keep doing what you're doing. This is progress. <laughs> <sighs> well, time to get on with it. Cutting things a bit close. 
All right, and that does not tell you the half of what you see in this film. Uh, that definitely gets your attention. So again, if you guys are new to the broadcast, make sure you guys go over and rent or buy Fracture for yourself on the Amazon side. We have it highlighted in the carousel uh, for you now. But there are also other great projects you all will find. So I can't let the two of you go uh, without asking you about the other big news that's been going on. Another one that's been getting a lot of attention, Omega, is, uh, is Faded Reunion. Uh, we've talked about that on this platform, uh, as well as keeping secrets. Talk to us about what it's been like for you to see the continued success of, of those projects, Omega. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Keeping Secrets, the director, cut. we released the original Keeping Secrets last year around this time. So the fact that we re, um, we released the director's cut and the film is still staying up on those um, front pages of Tubi, mm -hmm. it is it is insane because, you know, we're a year later and, you know, most films, you know, they, they dwindle down. But, you know, we breathe new life back into it. You know, it's a great segue for us, honestly, to piggyback with that up into Fractured. So it's like, the momentum isn't slowing down. And so, you know, we have what, dang, I forget how many we have out now. Like, I forgot how many films we have out now. But I, was, I was trying to, I was going to try to rattle them off, but it's like fra <laughs> Fracture, Keeping Secrets, Keeping Secrets, the Director's Cut, Surviving mm -hmm. America, Shattered, mm -hmm. From Jim to James Crow, um, Domestic Seduction. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, we got a few. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Back. Of course, our our latter films are are the ones that, of course, are doing the best. You know, I think we made a huge transition when we went from Faded Reunion. We had a different game plan, and we're just executing it from Faded Reunion on. Like we just took off. Right, love that, Kathy. What has that been like? You, as you were just hearing uh, me to talk about the projects. Uh, keeping secret that she was talking about the director's cut. You know, those those are becoming very popular. I have to be honest with you. I don't normally watch director cuts because I'm kind of a PG 13 ish person. Anything over that, I get squeamish. And so I even have my hair, the director's cut. I'm thinking, oh, yes, yeah, probably things in there I'm probably not not ready for. But what has it been like for you, Kathy, to, to see the response and the new life that these projects are getting to? Oh, it's been um, actually very rewarding um, and it fuels us to continue to do more and, you know, encourage uh, Amiga to write all of these amazing stories. I mean, I, just the other day reading a new script that, you know, working on so another project. I mean, we already have projects slated. So a lot of the films, when they're doing well, they actually encourage us to do more and better things and to keep us going so i'm really excited um it is it's a you know when you wake up and you realize like wow we actually you know are doing the darn thing it is an amazing feeling and i have an amazing partner so i'm excited i mean i just yeah i'm just excited yeah so let, let's stay with that for a second, uh, Kathy, because, I mean, this is, you know, you all are in a very competitive industry already. Mm -hmm. And then when you throw being a female creative, a female filmmaker, that's a whole nother level, you know, of competitiveness that can be there. What has it been like for you to have someone that you've been able to work with, like Omega, um, to kind of be there to kind of offset some of that that comes your way? It is absolutely, you know, awesome um, having someone who understands, who uh, feel the things, who have been through the things, who just know, you know, what it takes. Because sometimes we all we have those good days and bad days and we're able to, you know, lean on each other to, you know, encourage each other to push each other, um, especially being a female. I mean, I'm at an event. I went to an event last night and I am a female uh, photographer on the carpet and I'm around like five or six men. And you could just tell that everyone was trying to, you know, outdo me on the carpet or, you know, step in front of me, you know, just dismiss me. 
And, you know, you have to speak up. So you actually have to go the extra mile just being a female in this this industry. And it it is hard for us. But, I mean, we do know how to push back. We're pretty, you know, resilient in that way. So being able to have each other to lean, you know, on each other to say, hey, you know, it's going to be all right. We're going to get through this. We're going to move forward. We're going to push through. We're going to break boundaries. We, we're just going to make it happen. So having her as, you know, a business partner is absolutely awesome. Love that. Uh, look, I laugh when you're talking about speaking up because Omega has definitely no problem. <laughs> and she'll give you a look like she's giving you <laughs> And it's funny because people always think I'm actually the quiet one. And I do. I will get you together just as fast, but I can leave it to her to be more the vocal. She's going to get out there and say everything she needs to say. So don't do it to us. <laughs> that, that's right. That's right. And look, and if you need any reminders, follow her on Instagram. You will definitely <laughs> understand. What? <laughs> so, be, uh, look, talk about you like you're not even here. So, Omega, let me, <laughs> let, let me ask you. What has it been like for you to have Kathy? I mean, when I first met you, of course, I mean, you, you know, you didn't have someone that you were working with, you know, in the industry this way. What has it been like for you to have someone like Kathy there, um, not only, of course, to go through on this journey with you, but also to have that support system? Uh, you remember, like, the old cartoon, like, Tom and Jerry, when, like, the bulldog showed up and he had that other little chihuahua or something mm -hmm. with him? So I'm the yeah. bulldog, and then I got my other little dog with me. And when we roll yes. up, that's how, that's, how, <laughs> that's how it feels. But, but you know, it um, it's empowering because I know I'm not going in it alone. And I know I have, you know, someone who who has has my back and who's mm. not going to go behind me and undermine anything that I'm trying to do. That's that's the biggest key. You know, you can be outspoken, but you can have those people behind in the background. Oh, don't listen to her. Don't do this. I, I don't have to worry about that yeah. with her. She's going to support me because she knows what I'm doing is for the betterment of us. I mean, and even today, as much as I post on social media and I and I show my personality on there, one thing that it, it it's crazy because the more we grow, the more male filmmakers jump in my inbox, no matter where they are in their filmmaking career, they think they can get in the inbox and bully me into yeah. making their film. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, you're working on your stuff, but you know, you need to be working on mine. You can help me with mine and it's going to be better than yours. You really think that's that's going to make me give up my money for you? <laughs> but yeah. those are the type of things we get that we get. With. Like, you know, even the other day, I posted, you know, my twins, which are my cameras, and I got pushback on, do you even know how to use those? No, I I, I just have them there for play. I, ju I just bought these expensive cameras just there to play around with. Like, are you serious? But the stuff that we mm -hmm. deal with is insane. And it's and it's crazy because it's it's men, it's men that do this, but it's also men trying to tell me, oh, you should brush it off. You shouldn't talking about it. Talking about it does not make it go away. I'm vocal because I'm showing you how crazy you look and I hope you don't do it to someone else. Yes. Right. <laughs> right. And, and yes. I think that's so important too. And, and I, I think I'm going to talk to the two of you about that. Um, you know, and I think what so many people, what I love and respect about the two of you is that, you know, not only are you great at what you do, I mean, if people come to you the right way, you're there to be able to support, to assist, yeah. you know, and to be able to give that that advice. But I think the caveat there is the right way. So I want to ask you, Kathy, I mean, about that. What has it been like for you to show people by example? Because that's, I think, that's what one thing the two of you do very well. You show by example is what I try to do, too. What has it been like for you to show people how you can have a partnership, how you can work with people and get things done? I've always been the one to, you know, always want to pull people together to work together. So that is one of the things about me, you know, that I'm strong. I love to be able to teach and, you know, show people the way. But it is very important that you listen, you follow through, you know, and working together um, because that's that, that's so important right now. And I mean just being able to 
pull all of the pieces together, you know, especially, you know, with um, Omega, it, it's, it's really important because, I mean, being orderly, being on time, all of those things, every, all of that stuff go hand in hand and it's a must and it matters or you will definitely be off the boat. <laughs> yeah. Love that. Love that. Uh, Omega, what about for yourself? What has it been like for you to show by example what is possible when people come together and try to work together for a common good? I think I was thrust into this at such a very um, young age that, you know, from me playing sports and um, going to the state meets and having to carry on almost essentially like my city doing that because I come from a, a small town and there hadn't been anyone, let alone a black woman, you know, running track and achieving the things that I did. I've always felt that weight and that um, that pressure. So me pulling things together, it, it just comes naturally, you know, because playing sports is all about um being a team, being in the military is all about being a team. So I'm just carrying that on of being a team and showing you how much further we can get if we do it together, but don't get it twisted because if you don't want to act right, well, I'm still going to do it. Right. Yes. <laughs> so. right. Love that. Uh, Dr. Vama, hello to you joining us on the West Coast. She says, good evening. And Miguel says over on Facebook that the two of you are doing an amazing job uh, it's good that y'all aren't, aren't paying those people any attention. Uh, and, uh, and Dr. Viama echoes it and says, right. And I think that's the big Thank thing you. here. I think that's the big takeaway from this conversation. I think, I mean, for one thing, you all do great work, as I mentioned, the stories are great. Um, and, but the other side of it is on the, on the, on the work side, the work side is solid too. So the work is solid. And then of course, you're able to have that relationship, not only of course with the people that you're working with, but also like Miguel says, with those who are working with you as well, uh, which makes them want to keep being able to come back to you. So I know the two of you have a lot going on and the time always flies by when we're on together. And, I, and I, that just shows, you know, and that's the thing about friends. You know, when friends may not talk for a little while, but then when you pick back up, you just you know, yes. pick back up where you were and that's where we are. Omega, you do have a lot of the great things going on. You teased what your next project was going to be last time, but what should our audience be on the lookout for now? Oh, we're still here. Like, um, like Kathy just said, she I just slapped her with a whole new script. So <laughs> another uh, another thriller. We just, you know, we had a production meeting yesterday and this morning. I'm um, talking that over. We have um, um, two more thrillers coming up, a uh, horror coming up, and a uh, you know a fantasy that we're trying to get get to. You know, uh, like you know, I gotta love my vampires. So we're on that. But however. <laughs> Um, about face media and tell out ink combined we we i we felt like we have enough films now under our belt that we have implemented like a boss studios yay oh, cool. congratulations <laughs> thank you yeah we're so very, excited about that <laughs> very cool very cool so omega how can they stay connected oh you can follow me on all the things at mimi keys um and AFM 1922 and Labs Studios. Okay, all right. Oh, well, Kathy, congratulations again on that. Uh, and uh, Dr. Velma says congrats as well there on Facebook. So let our, our audience know, Kathy, anything you have coming up yourself and also how our audience can stay connected with you too. Yes, well, all of the um, <laughs> wonderful projects that um, Omega is bringing to the table, so you'll watch out for those coming um, this year. So, and just um, have a few big events coming along. Just follow all of us, all of the information you can find on our social media, which for me is Tell All Inc. on all platforms. And then again, Like a Boss Studios. So, anything you need to find out about us, it's on our social medias. Love it. Love it. Well, Amiga, Kathy, congratulations again. Another great conversation with you all. So excited to speak with you again. No, we'll be speaking again really soon. Definitely looking forward to our next conversation together. Thank you. Thank so much. you. More than welcome. Appreciate the two of you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Cyrus Web Presents, where we're live here in Chicago, Illinois. I'll be back with you guys next week back in my, my own stumping grounds with my own studio 
uh, for some more great conversations. In the meantime, if you have not been following up with the programming we've had here or we've been on the road the past seven days, make sure you guys do look here on our Amazon page to be able to catch up on all of that. Also, we had a great March Madness Party Fine show this week here on Amazon, getting you guys ready for that. And this is something I had forgotten to announce. I went live earlier today, forgot to announce it, that I'm going to be one of the uh, Amazon hosts that's doing the spring sale with Amazon as well. I don't know how I forgot to mention that earlier. But you guys are here on Amazon. You guys have heard about the spring sale. I'll be one of the hosts. I'll be bringing you guys some great deals as well. So make sure you guys look out for that on our page. Again, if you guys are new to us on the Amazon side, make sure you guys get that follow button either here in this corner or down below. I'll be back with you guys real soon with more Cyrus Ware Presents. Until next time, you all make it a great one. We'll talk soon.